Hey, welcome to the shop. So every time I come out here, there are several projects that I can see that I've just been putting off. Let me show you what I have going on. Now what I have here are my spare gas cylinders, but you'll notice that they're just sitting free. They really should have something holding them upright to keep them from uh, possibly tipping over. Most cylinder racks set the cylinders side by side, but I'd rather put one in front of another because I'm in a pretty tight space and that'll save a little bit of room. So I started thinking about how I might do that. I could use some bars that come off the side with some chains to hold them, but I'd rather create a bar that wrapped around that I can remove when I don't need it. So to do this, I just bent a 180 degree hoop on the tubing bender. If I didn't have a tubing bender, I'd just make a couple miter cuts with square corners and it would be just as good. I overbent for spring back and since I've worked with this material quite a bit, I was able to get something that sprung back right around 180 degrees. Now this is looking like it'll fit pretty well and I'm going to cut it to size and figure out how to make a removable hatch for it. After I cut it though, I took a look and I was thinking there may be a different way to do this. I started thinking about lap bars on a roller coaster and I was thinking if I had something that could just lift up and down on a hinge, that could be pretty good to hold everything in place. So I decided I'd take that approach with this project and then it'll be easy to use and I'll actually use it. So these are some barrel hinges that you can use to make gates with and they're pretty easy to work with. In order to weld them on the round tubing, I just pinched it down closed a little bit so it'll be about the same width as the barrel hinges and that'll make it a little easier to weld. Now to make sure that both sides are the same, I'll just measure. You know, we want to make sure this is a precision operation here for sure. I used some weld coupons to prop it up and have it sit right around center in the bar. Now whenever doing something like this, it's a good idea to tack one side and get it in place really well and then flip it over to tack the other side and weld it out. If I were to just weld the first side all the way out while I'm sitting there, then it would have warped and distorted and everything would have opened up on the back side, leaving me with a huge gap to fill. But with the back side tacked before I weld anything out, everything stays in place pretty well and the welding went pretty smoothly on this. I had this plate laying around, some scrap metal, and I thought this would be a pretty good thing to mount to the wall. I took it over to the drill press to add a couple holes, and I'm just putting them in a vertical line right in the center. That'll allow me to attach to one stud and have a really secure hold with a heavy duty lag bolt. I'll clean up this surface rust to prepare it for welding. I could have left that rust there and that would have driven a lot of nasty comments and helped this video to grow, but I figured I don't really want to fight the uh, dirty metal, so I'll clean it off and prep everything right. Well, it would probably work as it is, but I want to add another cross member in there to help support it and to keep the cylinders from tipping towards the wall. So I'm notching it with this cheap Amazon tubing notcher. I think I get a nicer cope when I do it by hand, but this should work good enough for the project that we're making and fit it right around here. I'll add a few dabs of weld and it should be ready to go. As a finishing touch, I'll throw on a quick black rattle can treatment. Okay, so here I have it installed. It can just swing up and down and it sits flat against the wall when it's not in use. But if I swing it all the way up, then I can bring my cylinders over here and put them in place. So I'm gonna line up two cylinders now I'm just gonna mention that this doesn't necessarily meet whatever OSHA or other requirements you may have. So make sure that you're working safely and following all the guidelines that you have. I'm just solving a problem in my own space here. Now I've got it locked in place there. Now I have some two inch long lag bolts into the studs that keep everything nice and secure and they're not gonna tip over on accident here in my space. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Let's try it out with just one cylinder here and see how that goes. 
So with one cylinder, if it were to get pushed forward, it's gonna catch it and it can't tip really very far. Um, and same thing side to side. Definitely better than just having them sitting around like this. So I'm pretty happy with it, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next time.